It's a small community east of Ottawa, once renowned for its healing mineral springs and sulfur baths. In the late 19th century, until the depression of the 1930s, a local innkeeper encouraged visitors to drink and soak away their aches and pains. This place was known worldwide. They came from all around the world because it was like the place to go. Carlsbad Springs is again on people's radar. Today, it's not water that draws them, but the food. You're gonna get good food, and there's gonna be lots of it. What do folks say after they eat here? Yum. <laughs> and for good reason. This is authentic Texas-style barbecue. Slow-cooked, smoked to perfection. The term low and slow is what's really important here when it comes to barbecue. You cook it for a ridiculously long period of time. You know, a pork shoulder might be in uh, the smoker for 20 hours, uh, a brisket 12 to 15 probably. But that's what makes barbecue uh, as good it, as it is because you can take what would normally be an almost indigestible piece of meat and make it absolutely spectacular. This is something that's very different than any other style of food that's previously been in Ottawa. It's a big space that welcomes appetites to match. Food is what I like. You know, I'm fat for a reason, because <laughs> I like to eat. The D in DNS is Dave Harper, his heart as generous as his helpings. DNS stands for Dave and Staff, and it might sound trite, but without my staff, I'm just a lonely guy in an empty building. Empty? Hardly. Guests arrive in droves to sample the savory delicacies at this distinctive eatery. They make pilgrimages for pulled pork, bee lines for brisket. Their taste buds toppled by the smoky sass of Texan cuisine. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's, um, it's an addiction, the food. It is. It's, it's amazing. Dave first sampled Texas Q as a boy on summer vacation. The experience so profound, his dad cut their trip short to smoke some meat back home in Canada. When we started having successes, like our first great brisket was like, wow. Like we couldn't believe it. And you know, we're, we're like, my dad and I are both saying to each other, and my mom, like, we've arrived. Years later, after many jobs and life diversions, Dave got the urge to open a restaurant of his own. Something different, with a menu close to his heart. My wife looks me square in the face and she's like, why aren't you thinking barbecue? I'm like, of course. To make tasty, tender barbecue with that perfect smoky flavor, you need specialized equipment. We here at DNS uh, believe only in, in using Southern Pride smokers because I believe far and above they're better than anything out there on the planet. It's on a rotisserie so the meat is always uh, rotating. So you end up with a very nice even cook. Our chicken wings are radically different than virtually everybody out there in that uh, um, those get a rub on them but then we smoke roast them, then we uh, deep fry them. And that crisps up the skin because everybody, when they're getting chicken wings, they want that crispy outside. Um, and then we put a little bit of sauce on it. Our armadillo eggs, they're almost exclusively only in the south. It's a jalapeno pepper hollowed out, filled with cheese and wrapped in sausage. And then we smoke it. And then you say, wow. The DNS burger, it's a pretty traditional burger. Back bacon, an onion ring, and a little bit of sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. We have a smoky chocolate cheesecake, for instance. And who would smoke chocolate uh, cheesecake, right? I, I would. And it's great. Like chocolate and hickory smoke, oh, I 
you like really dark chocolate? I, I hate dark chocolate, but you smoke it, and it's like something completely different. It's really good. There are, of course, mouth-watering sides, like baked beans and coleslaw. Sparkling refreshers to make you bubbly. Oh yeah, cheer wine, yum. I would liken it to a cherry cola, or perhaps a Dr. Pepper, with a tiny little hint of almond. Uh, it's very unique, it's highly delicious. Well, I thought maybe you were a little peckish, so I ordered mm. you just a little tiny snack. Well, I feel like I could eat a little something. Yeah, yeah. just a wee little something. Uh, uh oh <laughs> And then there's the Determinator. What do we have, the Determinator? The Determinator, and I know you're the Determined. How do you eat this thing? Well, it's a tall order for barbecue Bravehearts. I have a plan. <laughs> we just came up with this silly burger. <laughs> but it's probably one of the best tasting burgers you would ever have. It's got mm. brisket on it. It's got three eight ounce homemade meat patties. <laughs> it's got grilled cheese sandwiches as buns. It's got cheese. It's basically if you can eat it in an hour and and keep it down, you'll you'll get bragging rights and that you actually finished it because it in in its totality it's five and a half pounds of food with fries and coleslaw and pickles. Cheers, buddy. Cheers to you. And very recently, we just had our, our, uh, our first challenger that actually beat it. So it is humanly possible. Get this, though. This, this is the crazy part. He ate a five and a half pound burger, fries, coleslaw, pickles, everything. He cleaned his plate. And then he ordered dessert, a smoky chocolate cheesecake. And he ate it. It was incredible. I couldn't believe it. The food that fueled childhood dreams for Dave Harper is now satisfying many generations of barbecue lovers who are discovering the savory secrets of the South in Carlsbad Springs. I'm very proud. I have delicious food that people go ape over. And when you see them have the same reaction that I had when I was 14, and they look at their friends, or you go up to them and their eyes are really big and they're, they're like freaking out and you're thinking something's wrong, and they're like, this is so good, and they're shaking, and it's like, wow.